And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent making his way to ring, 6'9", 279 pounds from Tennessee. Here is the mastermind himself, the Tennessee Stud. Your referee, Roy George, one fall, television time remaining on this unusual match. Tennessee Stud, who has uh, some kind of reason, you know what, at the beginning of the program. Look at this. The bullet behind him catches the stud. And the bullet catches him once again, and the stud rolls into the ring. And the bullet is right on top of him. The bullet catches him again. The stud's never gotten out of his robe. The bullet catches him again. And so the Tennessee stud, in a world of hurt, The bullet has things very much under control. Well, the Tennessee stud said he wasn't in shape to wrestle. I watched him wrestle this weekend, unbeknownst to him, although he knows it now. And he's got some problems. The bullet catches him again. The stud fires back. The stud catches the bullet with an elbow. Let me tell you, 279 pounds, six feet nine. He's big, bad, and mean. So the stud, as the bullet staggered, catches him with a high knee lift, puts him to the canvas. And the stud now trying to get the plaudits of the crowd. The bullet coming up rather slowly. The Tennessee stud, high vertical suplex. The bullet in trouble. Stud ripping across the eyes of the bullet. Bullet catches him coming in, catches him once again. The bullet chop into the chest of the Tennessee stud. And so the Tennessee stud, who had no thought of wrestling this week on Continental Championship Wrestling, is suddenly very much in the thick of things. He's been staggered, he's dropped to the canvas. And so the bullet very much in control. So the head of the stable, the head of the family, seems destined for defeat here. The bullet on him confident, ah, uh -uh, reversal by the stud. The bullet into that turn by, the bullet catches that foot, puts the stud back to the canvas. He's going for that figure four. He's got the figure four. He's got it on him. He has got it on him. So the Tennessee stud, facing excruciating pain as the bullet puts the figure four leg lock. The stud trying to escape from it. The bullet has it on him. No question about that. The Tennessee stud in a world of trouble now. Wait a second. Wait a second. That looks like Robert Fuller. That is. Robert Fuller trying to rip the mask off the bullet. The bullet trapped in that figure four, and it is Robert Fuller trying to, let's see if we can't get a look at that. Wait a second. Hey! That's Brad Armstrong. Brad Armstrong in there. The bullet back on his feet, he catches a Tennessee stud. He almost had that mask off. You got Brad Armstrong in there now. A four-way melee going on here. The Tennessee stud and the bullet. Robert Fuller and Brad Armstrong. He's got the sweeper. Brad Armstrong has the sweeper on Robert Fuller. And it's uh, the bullet going after that figure four leg lock again. The bullet has the figure four. Brad Armstrong has the sweeper. 
And it is all but over for the Tennessee stud and Robert. Wait a minute, who's this? That's gorgeous Jimmy Golden. Gorgeous Jimmy Golden in the ring. Golden ripping away. And they've ripped the shirt off of uh, Brad Armstrong. Meanwhile, the Tennessee stud battling it out. There's C. Ronald West calling for the bell. But it's too late for that now. And they're after the mask of the bullet. Soto comes charging into the ring. Wait a minute. Got from the outside by Jerry Stubbs, and they're outside the ring. It's the stud and the bullet battling it out now. They're still going after that mask. Boomer Lynch has just charged in the ring. He's down across the mat, the back of the bullet. They're going for the mask. They're going for the mask. They're going for the mask. Wait a minute, they, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go to black, let's go to black. Let's, let's cut away. Well, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I never should have called for that. Uh, I got so carried away. All right. Well, wait a minute. The Tennessee stud making his way, the Tennessee stud making his way here to the desk. Terribly sorry, gentlemen, but uh, at, at the moment that happened, we, we seem to have had a technical problem. What? And I don't what? Know. what are That's you right. talking about? Everybody sing. You got it on tape? No, I, I'm sorry. We we had a technical problem. We had to go to black. What are you uh, talking about? Uh, this you is, had to go to black. This is not the first time you've done this, Gordon Sully. What are you talking about? You had to go black. Everybody sing. All our no, stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be back in just a moment. We'll be right back. May I take just a moment? First of all, I want to toss it to Mike Jackson in the ring, but I just want to tell the bullet that uh, unless somebody here in the audience had a camera and got a shot of the bullet when he was unmasked, then nobody still knows who he is because unfortunately we had a technical problem and you were not seen on television. Bullet. You heard it, the people heard it. Technical difficulty, nobody sees nothing. Hallelujah! I told you before, somebody up there likes me, and I'm gonna tell you something, Tennessee stud. All five of you got it, didn't you? It took five, but now it's all erased with a big eraser because it don't count. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I'm sick and tired of the whole darn stable jumping on me, Brad Armstrong, and the rest of the Armstrongs every time we turn our back. I want some changes made. I want the card changed. I want any of the stud stable or you stud in a loser lead. I want one on one. Every donkey in the stable is going out of here. I don't care what it takes. You or any of your stable sign the loser lead, and it's going to be bye-bye Tennessee stud and the whole stable of jackasses. Gordon. Well, all I can say is let me see what we can do. Uh, you know, matches have been set, matches have been established. But uh, again, I, I want to apologize to everybody for uh, uh, the technical problem we had, which uh, obviated the possibility of seeing uh, exactly who the bullet was. But nonetheless, all I can say is if these changes can be made, if these matches can be made, we will immediately proceed to do that just as quickly as possible. We'll be right back. Well, we found out what happened to the tape. You messed with the tape. You called for him not to show him. We had him there and had him dead to right. Well, we don't want any card changes. We ain't changing no card. Let me have it. Let me have it, boss. I want him. 
You want him losing? I want him. I don't care. You I want him losing? I want him. All right, you got it. Boomer's gonna run you out of here, bullet. You're gone, boy. As far as any other matches, I'm not putting my continental title. Roberts is not defending against any. I'm not defending against another. I'm strong as long as I live, Brado. That's all we've got to say, Sully. You. It's your fault. This is your doing, Jordan Sully, that his face wasn't seen, and you're going to hear about it. Well, it's not the first time you did this, Gordon Soli. You messed me out of a bunch of money. Now hey, look what you've done. You ignored these people the rights of seeing Bob Armstrong's face. Well, like I said, if anybody out here had a camera and caught uh, the face of the bullet, so be it. However, uh, it was purely a technical problem here. And uh, may I just say that there is another man who has something he'd like to say uh, regarding uh, the bullet and others. I'm referring, of course, to the newest man to join the stable of uh, the Tennessee stud. I'm referring, of course, to uh, Mr. Wrestling number two. So let's go and listen to these comments now from Mr. Wrestling number two.